Street TV family. Catch us live on your TV. Screen. Yes, man. Welcome back. You're still watching XA right here on Cape Town TV, the people's channel. And we're taking you up till the hour of five. And I'm not sitting the ship of entertainment alone. I'm here by Lama Lee Moon. And I go by the name of Rizar Forbes. And we are your mommy's favorite entertainers. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but also on Twitter, it's XA underscore live. Facebook, XA live. Instagram XA Live, as well as on YouTube, we are XA on Cape Town TV. Do email us, school XA at Cape Town TV. Dot org or dial us on 021 448 0448. Remember, this is your show, so whatever you need for us to air, let us know so that you are represented and entertained and informed. Listen to all the news. 100%. Now, Lama, I don't know if you ever watch the news or you're watching a program and you are always wondering who is that person. In the little square at the at the end of the screen, doing sign language yeah. and interpreting things, and don't you ever just want to ask them questions and speak to them and like, what is your day job like? How do you interpret everything? And you're actually gonna have that opportunity today. Is it? Yes, 100%. right now. Right now, and you guys at home is gonna have the chance to sit in on that conversation too, yeah. Yeah, we'll be chatting to Usibo Nehete, who's a sign language interpreter. She didn't just wake up and decided to do this. She's got a beautiful story to share with us. Usibo was born to um, her parents that are deaf. Now that um, prompt her to learn the language mm -hmm. so that she is able to um, communicate with the parentals. Had that not been done, um, she wouldn't be the sign language interpreter that she is today. Absolutely. So to tell us more about that. The lady of the moment, Sikhete, Sibone Khete. <laughs> Sibone Khete, welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. It's an absolute pleasure um, having you on our show today. And I'm super excited to be talking to you because I really am that person at home who goes, I want to know what goes inside of that person's head at the little, in the little box at the end of the screen. Um, but before we dive into that, can you please just tell us, you know, your story and how you actually came to be a sign language interpreter and not the gang signs that we think is, is sign language. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I shoot now? Yes. Hello? Yes. Um, Uriza, oh. Uriza, um, how did you become the sign language interpreter that you are today? What's the background story? Yeah. Okay, um, well, basically, I am what they call a CODA. A CODA is a CODA, um, which stands for Child of Deaf Adults. Oh, okay. So, meaning that both my parents are deaf. So, sign language is my home language, it's my mother tongue. So, I learned to sign before I could learn how to speak, basically. Wow. So, I grew up, yeah, I grew up interpreting for my parents. I went everywhere with them. I went to the bank with them. I went to a doctor's appointment with them because I was working, I was interpreting for them everywhere where they had to go wow. and where they needed an interpreter. So yeah, that is how, and then that is my background. That's how I learned the sign language. So becoming an interpreter, you know, I never dreamed of it. Yeah. I never thought that there's, there's a sign language interpreter profession, you know? Um, when I grew up, I wanted to be an accountant. So after finishing my matric, I studied accountancy uh -huh. and then I felt like, you know, this is definitely not for me. Yeah. Um, I don't see myself, um, doing this for all my life. So yeah. I decided to take a gap year to just figure out things to just understand why, where I wanted to be in life. So. The following year, I got a call here at Daleso Tibet College saying that they needed an interpreter. Wow. And then that's when I came here, they interviewed me, um, asking me the background as to how I know sign language. Yeah. I explained and then I was hired. And then when I was wow. in the work, I thought like, no, this is really what I wanted to do because it really did not feel like a job for me. Yeah. I mean, um, I've been doing it my whole life basically so it just felt like you know it's just another day i'm going there to have fun and interpret in class so that's how i became one and then when i was working and then i decided no you know what i need to study this so that i can at least have a qualification yeah she can say yeah she has the experience 
but what about now the papers? So I registered with the University of Vet um, Language School. I did my level 2A with them. And while I was busy, before I could finish that one, um, I got an opportunity to be trained as a sign language interpreter because really when you know sign language, it does not necessarily mean that you can just stand there and interpret. Yes. It does not work that way. Yeah, you need to be trained. You need to know your code of ethics. You need to know, um, um, you know, it's it's deeper than that. Wow. So Sibone, that's how I became um, an how, interpreter. Yeah. How easy yes. or challenging was it? I understand that you grew up um, using the language, but yeah. how difficult was the first time that you had to learn? How easy or challenging was it for you to learn the language? To learn the language? Okay. You know, as a child, you, it's easy to grasp things. Yes. Uh, it was easy for me because um, I could point at water, ne? and then my mother would give me a sign that is water. Mm. And then I grasped the sign. Tomorrow it's something, when I needed something, I would just point at things and then they'd give me the sign for it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then I grasped all of the signs until now I could make up a sentence and express myself yes. in the language. Wow, that is so interesting. And um, how did it come about when you actually then went to school and things? Didn't you feel a bit odd? Like, because I know if my home language is English, um, learning another language, yeah. for example, Afrikaans or Isitkosa, whatever the case may be, would then be challenging towards me. But in your case, learning, for example, English would necessarily mean you to be able to speak to others or do job interviews, whatever the case may be. So how did, how did you find the, um, the easiness or difficultness of, of then learning then the English language and if not a second language. Is there, is there any other oh, languages that you actually learning speak? Learning the language. Or learning the, or the other language, meaning I had to learn Setswana language now. Wow. Um, that one was like, I was, you know, my grandparents had to be involved uh, so that I can learn how to speak now. Yes. You know, my grandparents are the people that I used to speak to and you know and crutch also helped you know and yeah that's how i got to learn um to speak Setswana now because my grandparents were there and also the environment the community people yes they yes. were there so i learned the i learned how to speak that way speaking of other languages when i see Bonnie, south africa has yes. 11 official languages now how far are yes. we or how close are we in getting the sign language being one off the official languages yes i did not get that you broke a little i was I asking are we how far are we into getting a sign language as one of our official oh. languages here in south africa we are almost there at least it has been approved now wow okay now we are just waiting it to be finalized to say now yes this is the 12th official language at least now it is introduced in our schools Children are now able to learn sign language as a um, subject in schools. Oh, okay. You know, I, I so don't know. we are almost there. I can't say how long the pipeline is, mm. but we are making progress. We are getting there. I don't know if you, um, a couple of years ago, I don't know if you watched Nelson Mandela's funeral. I was funeral. thinking of that. <laughs> I swear. And then came somebody who interpreted and little did we know that uh uh this is fraud how do people get away doing such a thing yo i don't know how he got away with that and mind you during that time uh interpreters we've been we were in training at that time we were in johannesburg mm. A whole class of interpreters were the professional interpreters were there. And then we did not even get a call to come and say, come and interpret um, Nelson Mandela's memorial. And then, you know, when you're in class, um, you'd sneak and sneak into your phone to check. And then one of the interpreters in class was like, hey, guys, no, we need to stop this class. Something is happening out there. And then when we checked on Twitter, people were tweeting about it. And we just had to get a screen and see what was happening. Oh my God, it, we, we were really shocked. What was we actually yeah. saying? What yes, was, because I want to know like what was, because for us, we obviously can hear what Barack Obama is saying and be like, oh, okay. 
But for us who never know what's yeah. happening in the smaller box, what was going on? <laughs> what was he saying? Can you tell us? He, he was not, he was not standing. You know, sign language, you know when they, maybe for instance, they were introducing speakers. Mm. Yes. Maybe to say um, Obama will be speaking. You can maybe sign Obama, yeah. but we did not see that from him. We did not see, there was not even a single sign that was coming from him. Oh. It was just like, you know, not saying nothing, basically. Wow. You know, he was not saying anything. He was not making sense. He was not making sign language. I don't know what that was. Wow. So I think I it, was just, that was. it was just total gibberish. I think that's what happened. To the, yeah. Hey, like when, when, the when your niece plays with your WhatsApp hey. phone and just send random emojis. Yeah. Um, what's the yeah. most um, um, enjoyable thing that you enjoy from your job? Oh, what I enjoy? Oh, like, I, it doesn't, like I said, it does not feel like a job for me, hey? Mm. Um, learning, I enjoy learning every day. You know, sometimes you'd get somebody who uses these bombastic words, ne? Yeah. And then you get to, you get to learn, you get to learn all these words, all these terms, because now, if maybe like I don't have a sign of something, Maybe I would spell it to a deaf person and then maybe they'd give me a sign for it. That way I am learning and that way I am growing. Wow. That is why I'm enjoying, uh, I enjoy interpreting because you get to learn all these things. You get to learn all these languages because you know, hey, English, English, yo, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yeah. I, I pride myself <laughs> with knowing how to spell my name in sign language. So this is an L, this is an L, this is A, this is M, and this is A. So that's a Lama. Um, Sibone, mm -hmm. I want um, you to yeah. teach Riza how to say something in sign language. Can you teach him how to say Riza loves Ulama? Let's show him. Liza, how do you spell Liza? R E Z A H. -E Riza loves Ulama. Z A. Mm. Liza, L E Z A. Mm. R E Z A H. Yeah. L E Z A loves. <laughs> Who? Lama. Lama. Yes. Yes. Or you can, if it's the both of you, you can just say, I love you. Oh. I, I want to Or you, the, we, yeah, love. We Is have this the love? Other international one. We have the another international, I love you, which is this one. Mm. Oh. But doesn't yeah, that mean that the I, rock on or? Chobicho. <laughs> no. I don't think it's Chobicho. <laughs> Listen, it's the I, it's your L, it's your U. So it's I love you. Oh, okay. I see. Sibone, it has been very interesting <laughs> chatting to you. We learn each day. We learn a lot. And thank you so much for teaching us about your sign language. And thank you for sharing your story. Because when we share our stories, we are able to inspire the masses. Right now, we're going to an ad break. People need to come back. Please let them know that we are going to an ad break using sign language. <laughs> awesome. See you now. Yeah. <laughs> CTV family, catch us live on your TV screens. 